mysterious this morning, too, is what exactly caused that plane to go down. Some experts have been talking about whether lightning strikes may have played a role. Lori Graham reports on that this morning. A horrible scene back in 1962. A Pan American jet exploded in midair after it was struck by lightning, one of the first lightning hits to ever be recorded. Nearly 20 years later, in 1981, this German plane was one of the last. Soon after, NASA began studying the impact lightning strikes have on a plane by flying directly into the storm in an effort to get hit. Good strike. 700 strikes later, NASA concluded lightning can damage an aircraft's electrical system. So it came up with recommendations that still exist today, ensuring all aircraft have built-in lightning protection. Aircraft are, are built to uh, withstand lightning. Uh, they are bonded. To, uh, the whole air, aircraft structure is bonded. Lightning was an issue, but it was not the only problem in the tropical sky. Several hours after takeoff, the pilot flew into a severe weather zone filled with angry storm clouds. It's called an intertropical convergence zone, an area where high winds circulating in all different directions from both hemispheres suddenly collide at the equator, causing violent storms. He should have been able to see it. He should have been able to see the storm and, and see how, the stor how far the storm persisted and how widely it went each side of his track. Then the question is, why did he go through it and instead of perhaps turning back? About 15 minutes later, the plane itself issued an automated distress signal indicating that the electrical system went down and cabin pressure was gone too. When it's uh, an instantaneous loss of, of all communications and possibly any pressurization, the mystery deepens, you must say. It really does. The mystery and the speculation will certainly continue, at least until those flight data recorders are found, if ever. Lori Graham, CBC News, Toronto.